Good morning. Happy day. I think we'll play a little bit and really piss off the idiots who have to watch these things because they're being paid to do it. And hate my music. Because they hate themselves. You know, it's, it's really amusing to watch these people project a denial of their self-loathing at me, making up all sorts of ridiculous things about me that are really applicable to themselves.
Now, I think I'm really disappointed by not reading any of their other shit. I'm not even going to talk about them much. There's really no point in responding to people who don't know reality from fantasy. And people who are just so full of hate and so full of invalid facts that they don't know how to reason. They just know how to regurgitate these facts that they've been told they need to hate me with. It's really pretty sad. Um, no, you haven't beaten the fight out of me, Sneasel. What, what, what's going on is that there's no point in mixing it up with you idiots. You know, I, 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 it, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a waste of time and energy. Total waste of time and energy. I'm concentrating on my business. Um, I'm concentrating on my actual friends and family. Um, the political situation has calmed down enough to where I don't really need to spend very much time with it. And I can devote more time to my music and my stones. Um, there's a big demonstration today um, at Reed Park to try and save uh, Burnham Hill. I think it's called Burnham Hill. The, the South Pond area is being taken over by the zoo, and they're going to build a wall all around that. And it's, it's, a, it's a safe space for the public that people are very upset about it being taken away that way. Um, people will have to pay admission to get to it. Um, there's something like, you know, there's a, there's a birding site. I think it's run by Cornell University. It has some 5,000 entries in it from Reed Park because it's, it's, it's a, the migratory birds stop there. The migratory waterfowl stop on the way, plus there are residents that live there all year long. Um, I, I really hate to disappoint you, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not suffering any dementia and I don't have COPD. You know, I, I, you've been trying to tell me that I have COPD for five years now. How come the cough hasn't gotten worse? <laughs> Riddle me that. Um, you know, it just, it just gets stupid. You know, they, they, they think that I, I, I want the, you know, they're, they're, they're determined to paint me as a pedophile, which is just total nonsense. I'm mainly asexual, actually. Uh, you know, if somebody shows up wanting to have a relationship, I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not looking. Never have. Really, never have. Um, you know, you have no idea just how much mental and physical um, uh, what's the word? What's the right word here? You know, they cut on me when I was little and forced me into an unnatural gender role. And anybody who's, like, really um, knowledgeable about the psychology of gender dysphoria and uh, how people have to cope with it, um, they'd understand that I've done real well <laughs> to, to make it to 66 years. Um, without ever hurting myself or anybody else. Um, I cope. Yeah, I've, I've developed some bizarre behaviors to cope, but they're, like, not harmful to anybody but me. Um, and, you know, they, 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 they pressured me one day into uh, saying that uh, there were circumstances that... Um, 
merited allowing a nine-year-old to marry uh, an adult. But these are cultural norms and they're very rare. Uh, I think Nigeria is the only country that allows for it. But I know that in the United States, from my own experience in elementary school, that girls can become active as young as 10 years old. There, were, there was uh, an 11-year-old in my sister's class who had a set of twins. There was a 14-year-old in my class who got herself pregnant by a guy who was headed for Vietnam. And they got married. And she had the child, and he'd come home from Vietnam and got her pregnant again and went back to Vietnam. And then came home again and got her pregnant again and went back to Vietnam. And then when they got back from Vietnam, the marriage fell apart. For, for, for good, the marriage fell apart. But her daughter went and did the same thing. And by the time she was 45, she was a grandmother. Um, the age of cons the 16 year old age of consent in America needs to be lowered to at least 16. Um, and there need to be provisions for younger girls. I don't know. I don't want to put out a position because this again, this is cultural norms we're talking about accommodating within the law. Um, I don't know how much younger than 16 it should be. It should go, but shit, Southern Christians, it is not unusual at all. This is why nobody gave a fuck about Roy Moore. It is not unusual for a Christian man in America to go and get himself established financially before he goes looking for a wife. And then when they do, they go and look for a young one. Um, and it's not unusual for a 35-year-old Christian man in the South to marry a 16-year-old girl. It, just, it happens. And it should be legally acceptable for it to happen. Now, you know, when you want, you want to... You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a demarcation line as to, you know, how young is it going to be, you know, and how old, you know, how much older, you know, the, uh, the Sholem Aleichem story about Tevye the Dairyman and his daughters, you know, where one of the daughters was getting married to like a 60-year-old guy. I mean, that's just, something's wrong with that, you know, uh, arranging a marriage for your child with an old man, something's wrong with that. Um, but, you know, as far as, uh, uh, how you say, um, something that, that's, that's consents, you know, that there's some consensus on is that as long as the woman is less than half or more than half the age of the man, that shouldn't be a problem. Um. And again, this is just something I have an opinion on. This is not something I practice. I, I'm not seeking. I mean, I'm you know, I'm 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 labeling myself available. I I have I have a, a profile up at at Facebook dating. I actually attracted two women. We'll see where that goes. Um, get a lot of guys. <laughs> and it very clearly says, you know, um, if you're a guy, you need to be transgender. No, no, no transgender guys. Oh, no, a transgender guy did show up. That's right. So I got two women and a transgender guy that want to talk to me at, at Facebook dating, but I still have to figure out how to do that. <laughs> but I, ha I have no, um, you know, pedophilia is defined as an obsessive attraction to prepubescent minors. This does not apply to me at all. A single instance of uh, an inappropriate uh, sexual contact with a uh, a teen isn't pedophilia. It's also not hebophilia because there's no obsessive attraction. It was a single incidence. And, you know, to paint my entire life around that incident, calling me a, a, a child rapist and, and sexual offender and all this other happy shit is simply not real. 
That's all I have to say. It's just not real. Um, I'm supposed to hit the artist. <laughs> I, I'm not mean. You know, yeah, you, you know, they're trying to. Oh, you're always raging at everybody and making it and screaming. No, hey, call me sir. Don't call me. I don't do that. Um, ninety nine percent of the contacts that I have, uh, where somebody misgenders me, all I have to do is say, "I'm not a guy. Please don't call me sir," and it's over. Very few people even need an explanation. Sometimes I give it because I'm really not a girl either. I'm kind of both. And you can either accept that or not. And then if you don't, your choices are to walk away or be an asshole. Most people walk away. I, ha I, ha I have a very dedicated club of people who really hate themselves. Um, at Kiwi Farms, there's nothing but self-loathing at that dump. I mean, these people hate themselves and project it all over everybody else. As far as the A and B's go, they're criminals. They're just psychopathic criminals. The whole lot of them. They're murderous pimps and uh, a real danger to society that, that need to be uh, roped in and incarcerated. And I to see to it, you know. I, I I will I will make that happen. Um, Sophie LaBelle got attacked hard this week because uh, she came out about being a little, um, and she had used a real photograph as a model for a diaper, a photograph uh, on a, on a furry in a cartoon that she draw, and they have inferred from that that she's a pedophile. So there was a big brouhaha over that, and I contacted her privately and told her what was up between me and the Kiwi Farmers, and asked her if she'd want to come on board, and she would, and she knows Brianna Wu and possibly some others. Um, the, the mama bears have told me that when I have the... Um, complaint ready to file, show it to them, and if they like it, they'll give me an affidavit of their own experience. Uh, I will be coming in to the court. I'm not suing any of these people. They don't They don't seem to understand that. They, they laugh about the lawsuit. I'm going to be suing the law enforcement agencies under sec title, USC Title 42, Section 1983, which is about denial of service. Um, I'm going to be suing the platforms for uh, harboring this, for you know, uh, aiding and abetting uh, with criminal behavior, uh, consumer fraud, because it, you know their their support, their discrimination is is in violation of their own toss, and for uh, gross negligence, allowing harm to be uh, meted out on their on their users by other users. That's negligence. Um, as far as the harassers, the cyber terrorists, I'm coming in with a uh, with a motion to order a RICO investigation. You know, I have I have uh, I'm also coming in with a, a motion to to uh, to appoint counsel. Um, it has absolutely no chance. Of success if that motion is not granted. I understand that. I totally understand that. It's going nowhere unless I get a lawyer assigned. But it's going to be a class. You know, there would be a motion for to give a class status, motion for a lawyer, uh, motion to shut down AMB and Kiwi Farms, um, and a, you know, the motion, a motion to to uh, order a RICO investigation, shut down those two sites. So it's going to happen, and it's going to happen soon. It might have to wait until after the gem show. <laughs> uh, but such is life. <laughs> anyway, um, I guess um, 
this is a sign of great respect that uh, this crowd is so dedicated to hating me. You know, they're they're wishing death on me. They they want me to kill myself. They want somebody to kill me. Be careful what you wish for, children. It might come true for you. Namaste, motherfuckers. Happy day. Thanks for watching. Bye.